Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here. Oh crap, I forgot to turn on the uh, sound of the voices. What am I doing, man? Ugh, there we go. Try it now. Are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. I'm ready for it. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Hell yeah! Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. <laughs> In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. And she means it when she says, Good have idea. fun. Because this is probably one of the most fun quests in the game. And as far as Dark Brotherhood is concerned, it is the most enjoyable quest of the entire plotline. I said at the end of the last video that this was the funnest quest in the entire game. Not only is that grammatically incorrect, it's also maybe not entirely true. I'm trying to think now, and I can't off the top of my head think of a quest that I enjoy more than this one. But there may be one out there. I have to think about it for a while, go through each of the quest lines, and think about every quest that you go through. Honestly, the Fighter's Guild is just a bunch of rigmarole, you just run through the motions over and over again. And then the, the main quest line just takes forever. The Mage's Guild is a bunch of silly errands, and then a bunch of stupid errands later on. And then the Thieves' Guild is... I don't know, the Thieves' Guild, the last quest of the Thieves' Guild is a bit of fun, too. Where are we headed? Skingrad? We haven't been to Skingrad yet, have we? Thieves' Guild, the last quest for that is just kind of cool, just because of what you actually do in it, and I won't give it away yet for those of you who haven't played. What quest line am I missing? The Arena. The Arena has a couple interesting twists in it, but it's mostly just a series of fights. And so, honestly, as far as intrigue and uh, how exciting the quests are, the Dark Brotherhood is pretty much the top of the pile. Khajiit have the Eye of Fear power, which makes others run in terror from them. It's actually the Demoralize ability. It's an interesting magical spell that causes your opponent to lose the will to fight, they turn and run. In the same way that weak NPCs will run from you if you try to kill them in the street. I believe that's right here on, yeah, second building on the right. Let's speak to him. So, the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Oh yeah, this is gonna go, be fun. Go, socialize. Talk to those fine people. And then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. <laughs> Man, it makes you wonder later on in the game where exactly he's from uh, in the Dark Brotherhood. Because he isn't from the Shaden Hall Sanctuary. And his existence implies the existence of another sanctuary somewhere else in the Shaden, or in a. Uh, uh, Cyrodiil. Anyway, I saved my game there in case we want to go back here and play the quest again. And I always do that. I always create a new save right before Summitist Manor. Honestly, just because this is such a fun quest, I, I like to come back and do it. Usually more than once. And it's a great variety of outcomes as well, depending on how well you do. The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm an assassin hired to kill you all! <laughs> You're a funny one. Good, I'm glad one of us has a sense of humor about all this. 
It'll make our time here that much more enjoyable. You are an idiot. I have so a good Lord, idea where that chest might be. That gold is as on? good as mine. Wait. I already can tell this quest is going to be hell as far as ambient voices are concerned. Oh, are. Shut up! Oh my god, those voices in my head, man. This is ridiculous. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Well, hello there. Nels is my name. Some call me naughty, but don't you believe it. <laughs> And now there's a various there's various ways this quest can go, but it's a lot gonna end up being a lot of persuasion. Once an Imperial Legion bulldog, always an Imperial Legion bulldog. I've seen his kind before. He cares about laws and regulations, not people. Hmm. And you see that the name stays light. That means that he has more to tell us, but he won't tell us any more because we don't uh, have a good enough relationship with him yet. I mean, it's going to be worth our while oh, to try and persuade these people as much as we can, honestly. He loves coercion and boasting. Okay. Well done. We'll That's treat him to it then. What? Don't please. Sixty-one. I'm sorry. Okay. Burn through Remarkable. that. Go here sorry. again. Don't. Sixty-one yes, again. Oh, yes. Whatever I do better you. Than that. What a dumb joke. Here we go. Here. Don't, boom. Don't, boom. I wish I could say ah, that. I'm stuck at sixty-one. I just can't get him past it. And we'll go over here. That's just stupid. There. Don't boom. Whatever boom. You, sixty-four. Really? That's not bad. Got anything else to say about Neville? Once no, I... nothing new, huh? Let's ask him a little we'll bit see. more. Coerce, yeah, coerce. I wish Supplier. I could. You think not now? Try not again. later. Not ever. And of course, with a higher uh, not... skill, no, I'd be able to coerce him a lot more Remar effectively. That works for me. I will confide something in you, my friend. I despise Neville and all his Imperial Legion ilk. They are useless, uncaring tools of corruption. Three years ago, my village in Skyrim was attacked by bandits. We went to the nearby Imperial Legion outpost, but they refused to help us. My dear sweet daughter Olga was killed that day. She was murdered, and the Legion would do nothing to help her. Neville and his kind are scum. Wow. He doesn't like her at all, does he? So all that's right, an interesting desperation between between that Neville not going to find and Nels the Naughty. They get into a lot of fights, honestly. Fima Antonius is another So you one. finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. Yeah, he's rich. We asked him about Davisi du Duran, the dark elf in the house. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A little young, perhaps, and not exactly highborn, but she possesses a unique elegance. Well, there's no way that that's all he has to say. Yes? So let's see if we can convince him to talk a little more. He enjoys admiration and boasting, it appears. No, you... You can't scare me. You. I wish I could 47. say that. Forty-seven. Make sure I make a note of where he. You. Likes. Oh please. See if I can. See if I can Nothing. zip through this as fast as possible. No. I don't want you guys to That's sit and watch talk. this too much. What a. Is that yeah. not really interesting? Try a little bit. Disposition max. That's all. I can bribe him to give him both sixty. What That's nice. That's not bad. Let's ask him again about Davisi. She's quite. Oh, that's all. Oh, come on. There's no way I can't get you high I'm enough to, for you to talk that to me. Really like Seventy-one. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Interesting. All right, so we have a variety of relationships among the guests in the house. Uh, the first being a great uh, antipathy between Neville and Nels the Naughty. And then we also have a bit of a love story, not exactly. But basically, this is Davisi's drawn here, and she... I can't decide where I should look. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden anywhere. You're all idiots. Eventually, you, get to, you do have to kill all five. And the goal is to kill them all without being seen. So let's head upstairs. I believe someone has very stupidly isolated themselves. And it could be the end of their life. Okay, so basically, uh, we're going to want to play on the relationships between the characters. Okay, you know, Davisi just said that exact anything, same thing. But shut the chest up, of gold up, could up, be up, hidden anywhere. And the way most people start the quest is with Neville. He sleeps in his bed uh, up here quite a lot, actually. And he isolates himself uh, in a rather risky way, considering the situation. So if we take out Sufferthorn, we should be able to take him out without much trouble. I'm going to save anyway, just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Now there's a great many ways that this quest can play out. You can make a, a number of the characters kill other characters, uh, but only the last two or three will kill each other. You uh, you can't have the, the first of them kill each other. It's only after they realize that there's a murderer in the house that they all get upset. 
So I say we go ahead and finish off Neville, what do you think, while he's asleep? <laughs> we got him good. Right over on the bedside table. Get back up here, you. Get off the floor! Oh, what's he got? Neville's chest key. And if you look in Neville's chest right here, boom, boom, you get an imp entire set of Legion armor, which I believe you can come back for at any time if you can't carry it out of the house. Actually, I have enough. I'm light enough that I may just take it with me now. It's worthwhile to have when I want to have heavy armor later on in the game. And of course, no one really cares. Who else is up here? Ah, Primo. I suppose that he'll be our next target, yeah? Right here in his sleep. Yeah! Oh, that's great! They <laughs> fly out of bed! Look at that, that's ridiculous. We'll take his gold. Actually, we'll take his clothes, too, since they're... Aw, oh, man. Reminds me of Morrowind. You strip every corpse you find. Just for the gold you can get from selling their clothes, man. That's a desperate game. Alright, let's head back downstairs and see how the guests are feeling now that two of them are dead.